How's it going everyone? It's Leo here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you could pay your mortgage off earlier. Now there's plenty of ways you could do this, but the main way I'm going to talk about right now is something called a recast. Now if you don't know what a recast is, basically that's when you put a large sum of money or towards like a principal payment towards your loan. So let's say you owe a hundred thousand, you're going to put $10,000, $20,000 down to your loan. And then your monthly payments, let's say there's $500, they're going to reduce down to $400. Now I'm going to do the math right now to show you exactly how that could help. All right, now I'm going to give you an example of the numbers I use when I did my recast. Also keep this in mind that Quicken Loans has a minimum recast amount of $10,000. That might be different per mortgage lender, so keep that in mind. All right, so for my loan, I like to use my apartment because that one's a good example for rental properties because that's essentially what it is for me. So I'm going to use that number right now. $72,500. That was the purchase price. If you watch my other video, you could tell that I put 10% down. So I paid $7,250 of that. So then I was left with $65,250. That number is my mortgage. This is the amount that I still owe on the house. So that's what's being amortized over the 30 years. What this number here looks like broken down into monthly payments is like this. You got 550 going to Quicken Loans. Let me put a Q right here. And now you got $200 going to HOAs, which is home, Homeowners Association fees. So I'll put HOA here. Basically, it's like they pay for your water, security, lawn keep. They're like the upkeep of the condominium or apartment. So this never goes to principal or taxes or escrow, insurance, none of that. That's all this number here. So keep that in mind. I'm going to box this off now for my next example so you can really tell here. And then I'll break away this here. So in here, I'm going to put loan. So you can see this is my loan amount and then this is how the payments break out now over here i'm going to put my rent which is what i'm collecting is 900 dollars. let's box that in right there so what i'm paying is 550 dollars to quicken loans 200 dollars to hoa and i'm collecting 900 dollars rent so cash flow let me just put a c let me just put out cash making $150 in cash flow. I could go into equity, but I'm gonna talk about that in another video. I'll talk about it in my other videos as well if you wanna look at past tense, but I'll talk about it more in the future. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on cash flow. So just off cash flow, I'm making $150 from this property, and this is just broken down, the rental property, and how it's working, more or less. Now, I have two options. I can collect that $150 cash flow every single month for 30 years, or I have another option where I'm going to elaborate more on this in the next video, but I could put that $150 towards my principal, which here, my principal, you're not going to believe it, but it's really only $70 that's actually going to my loan amount. The rest of this is taxes, insurance, basically anything else like fees related. Only $70 is actually going down to chipping away at this loan believe it or not. So then you got $150 that I could add on every single month, which I'm just taking the cash flow out, dipping it in there. So then essentially I'm paying $220 to chip away at this. Now $220, that might not seem like a lot, but considering it'll take me 30 years with $70, if I'm doing this, I spoke to my representative at Quicken Loans. They said that I could pay off my loan Fourteen years earlier if I end up doing this that's a no-brainer that's paying off your property in 16 years if you do that or you could go ahead and take 30 years and make $150 but essentially if I do this instead I'm going to end up pocketing this amount completely and then take into account appreciation and everything in about 30 years this number's going to be a lot bigger but you've got options in terms of how to pay it off earlier and the number doesn't even get this good until I talk about the recasting Okay, so with the recasting, what I did was I put $10,000 towards my loan, which was $65,250. It's gone down a little bit since I've been making payments towards it of $70, but just for this example, let's use this number of $65,000. So I put $10,000 towards it. So now if you remember the old number, it was $550 
for all those payments to Quicken Loans and then $200 for the HOA. So now once I do this, it's going to drop by 80 bucks. It's going to be $30 towards PMI, which is the private mortgage insurance. You have to pay this in case you default on the loan and it's a necessary like requirement if you have under 20% equity, which I did since I put 10% down. But since I'm putting 10 grand in, I'm going to have over 20%. So they're taking out that PMI, which is going to save me some money there. And then you're going to get 50 towards principal. So overall, you're looking at an $80 reduction in price. Now, with $80, that might not seem like a lot, but then keep in mind, I'm putting $10,000 in. So if you do the 80 times 12, you have $960 a year that you'll be getting back on this cash. Now, with those $960, that's a 9.6% return on your money. Better than most returns you can get, even in the stock market, which is about like 7 to 8%. So 9.6, it's not too shabby. All right, so the trick with the recasting here is you have an $80 reduction per month and you're saving that $960 a year. So essentially you could pocket that money, but what you're instead going to do to shave off some time off your mortgage, you're going to put all that money back into the principal. Why would you do that? All right, so let me explain to you. So your rent is still going to be $900, right? Now, take into effect your $80, that's going to be reduced from your 550 originally. So now you're going to be paying $470 to Quicken Loans. You're still going to have the $200 HOA. So essentially your debt has gone down for this, but yet your income is still 900. So I spoke to my representative about this. Assuming you keep the $150 cash flow, you don't put that back into the principal and you just do this by adding that $80 a month to the principal and putting this example right here, you're going to shave off about seven years from your loan. So essentially you're going to pay off your loan in 23 years or seven years earlier by implementing this strategy here. Now, let's say you do what I talked about previously, where you pay the $150 cash flow back into the principal. And on top of that, you implement this strategy right here. Okay. You're going to be golden. Let me show you right now how serious I am about this. I'm not playing. I can't make this up. You're going to pay it off in nine years. You're shaving off 21 years off your mortgage by, by just using this right here. You got to subscribe now. Come on. You got to subscribe. I can't make this up. I do want to add one thing though. This one thing is pretty important too, because keep in mind, this is all percentages based. My purchase price was 72,000, about $500. My loan amount is $65,250. I'm putting in 10 grand. So I'm putting in 13.8% of the loan down in one spot. If this purchase price was $300 and you put in 10 grand, it's not going to be the same effect that you're seeing right here. So keep that in mind. If you have a $300,000 loan and you put in 10 grand, not the same. If you put in 13.8%, you could expect the same results more or less. That sums it up for this video right here. So if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Helps out a lot. If you got any questions about this, just drop them down in the comments. I'll be free to answer any questions that you might have. And that's about it. So enjoy your day.